The Shapeshifters FPGA has to be updated using Altera's proprietary Windows-only Cordis programmer software. If you're using a Mac and don't have Parallels or Boot Camp, there is a free workaround, but I'm not going to lie, it's a bit of a process. Fortunately, I'm here to walk you through it. Or you could ask someone with a Windows computer to hook you up. If you are running Windows, feel free to skip ahead. All of the links required for this installation will be in the description of the video, so you can just go down there to get them. Oracle's VirtualBox software lets you run a pseudo secondary OS on your system. So download the latest version along with the extensions to allow USB stuff. You'll need a version of Windows for VirtualBox to run. So download and unzip the free Internet Explorer 11 on Windows 8.1 VirtualBox image of Windows. Make sure you do this in Safari because otherwise the zip file will not be properly uncompressed into an OVA file for VirtualBox. Box. So once that downloads, install VirtualBox and from the file menu select Import Appliance and navigate to the folder where the OVA file is stored, the OVA file of Windows 8.1, and import it. It may take a few minutes and once it's done you'll have Windows running on your Mac. Now you have Windows on your Mac. Open Internet Explorer, go to the IntelliJ website, go to the firmware section, and here, under FPGA firmware, you can download the Cordis programmer. So that'll just download there. You'll also need to download the Shapeshifter firmware file, the JIC file. And so once that downloads, you can run the installation, click next and allow a bunch of times, accept the terms, carefully read the document and install. And then it should uh, launch it once it's done. Signal tap, you don't need, you just want that Cordis programmer. So there it is, that's what you need. Take out your shapeshifter and connect the USB cable. You'll see a blue LED to show that it's been connected properly. And so go down to your USB settings on the bottom of your VirtualBox screen, select the USB blaster. If Cordis does not see your USB blaster device, uh, you're going to have to set it up in your printers and drivers uh, settings in Windows here. Devices and printers, that's what you want. So then go to that USB blaster, go to hardware, properties, change settings, drivers, update driver, browse to driver. It's been downloaded with all that Cordis stuff, so you just need to find that Cordis folder, and then you can select that driver and install it. So yeah, once you've installed the drivers, Cordis will see the USB blaster, so you can select the USB blaster, hit close, and now you can import the JIC uh, firmware file. So tick that uh, bottom box there, and uh, make sure you're on JTAG, everybody likes JTAG, and hit start. And yeah, it takes a while, so you know, do some push-ups, go pour yourself a drink, um, pass the time, stare at the green bar, do what you got to do. Soon you'll have an upgraded shapeshifter. Now, there's one more step with the shapeshifter. Before powering on, uh, so if you look at the back, there's a set of tiny little switches designed for gerbil fingernails. And so the switch on the far left, you want to flick that one up. and then turn it on and go into preset mode by pressing the encoder and hit save, turn the encoder to yes, hit save again. So this stores the factory presets into non-volatile memory. Turn your shapeshifter off and flick that switch back down. 
If you have a gerbil, you can train it to flick this switch. If you don't have a gerbil, a uh, screwdriver should do the trick. Uh, so flick that switch back down, and now when you turn on your system, all of those uh, factory presets should be ready for use. Now you can enjoy your upgraded shapeshifter. Thanks for watching.